So user imrx9090 has been making a tube here. I uh, took a bunch of measurements and he did the CAD work on this. The attempt here is to remove the knurling from the Hank DM11. That's how much we dislike the knurling. So uh, he made this model based on my measurements. Let's take a look at my measurements. So here we have the picture I took and you can see that I used some calipers to measure everything down to the fraction of a millimeter. And uh, we got the total length and then we had to figure out the threads and the threads are trapezoidal. They're not square cut or triangular. And I got a thread gauge and we figured out that they're 1.5 millimeters. And here you can see that I started the print and these are the first couple layers going down. And uh, it printed pretty smoothly. It took about two hours to print fully. And here we are about you know 30 minutes later. You can see the uh, threads emerging. This is a Ender 5 Plus that I've heavily modified for direct drive and all that stuff if you're a printing geek like I am. All right, so just finished printing. The head just went to the corner there and there's the finished piece bed's still kind of hot bed's still over 60 degrees so it won't pop off very easily until it cools yeah let me try yeah i should wait i'll wait a little bit still pretty hot take this little purge line off let me try one more time oh there we go got it all right let's see if this threads Okay, so this just came hot off the presses here. Haven't done any post processing. I just popped it right off the bed. Um, see, there's little wisps here that if I just do that, there we go. All right, yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's. Here's the DM11. Let's see how we go here. Take that off. Take a battery out. Take. A tail cap off. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoops, backwards. Looks looks pretty good visually. So we're gonna have to add a channel for an O-ring flat spot in there. Channel on both sides. All right, let's see if the tail cap fits on. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Nailed it. Let's see if this one. Here we go. Uh, uh, wait. A uh, little resistance. Tail cap was fine. The head is a little goofy. Let's see what's going on. Head. Okay, the tail cap was perfect. Head is not working. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. This all looks fine. Well, it goes on a couple, mm, like a thread and a half, mm, half a thread. You can feel it goes on like half a thread and it gets tight. Oh, wait, nope, never mind. It was just, just breaking. Never mind. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Never mind. I was struggling a little bit because I was. The, the, the end is going on really easily. Like, this spins so easily. But to be honest, it spins pretty easily on this model, too. Um, I think it's something to do with the tail cap itself. Um, but, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Bye bye Nurls. Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, I like that. All right. Good job, my man.